Hey, what's going on everybody? Mano back here for another solo Ascendant Challenge video guide. This week's Ascendant Challenge is the Argonach Abyss, and here's a little bonus clip for you of some of the stuff I'm at the end. I know some people have been wondering how to do some different time trials uh, on the Ascendant Challenges, so I thought I'd pop those at the end. This is the kind of shortcut for the Hunter, and I'm going to put the full complete guide on how to do the speed run for the Hunter uh, at the back side of this video. But, as always, the timestamps for the challenge entrance location the bones and the eggs are going to be on screen and in the description box below make sure you check those out sometimes the mobile links don't always work so just give a quick check it before uh, you are asking about any timestamps first as always we need to show you how to get into the ascendant challenge and what to do first of all you need to have a tincture of queen's foil which you're gonna see pop up onto my feed right here it's called the tincture of queen's foil I need to use that uh, to see the entrance for the ascendant challenge that can be found in your material slot can be found in any chest in the dreaming city or you can buy it in Rhea Sylvia first of all before we start this ascendant challenge we're gonna go over to the strand which I showed you just a little while ago to pick up the ascendant challenge bounty and then it's actually pretty easy to find the entrance location this week. We're going to go ahead and fall into the uh, Dreaming City landing location in the Davillion Mists. We're going to turn back around and head this way into the Lost Sector where you will find the Bay of Drowned Wishes. You can see that I've already used my Tincture of Queen's Foil. If you look on the left side of my screen, there is a thing that says Ascendance, which means I'm going to be able to see secret stuff throughout the Dreaming City, whether it's chests, platforms, or more importantly, the Ascendant Challenge Portal. Portal. As we come through here in the Bay of Drowned Wishes, we're going to take a hard right and basically swing all the way around the rocks here on the right hand side and we'll find the entrance right in this little chasm right here and we'll jump up into that. You can see that I'm using a bow right now. It is the Wish Ender bow. It is the only thing that can actually break and damage the eggs. You must have that if you want to collect the eggs. However, you do not need to collect the eggs to complete the Ascendant Challenge. All you have to do is collect the chest at the end. Once you come over here to this circular platform here, you turn immediately to your right, you'll see the egg right there. The Wish Ender bow will easily uh, knock that out. If you're using any other weapon, you will not be able to kill those eggs and the uh, wish uh, ender bow can be found uh, by completing some things in the shattered throne which is the dungeon from the forsaken expansion a quick google search will show you a bunch of guides on how to actually get the wish ender bow so what we're going to do is, in the Argonach Abyss, this is basically just a giant platforming puzzle. We're following Toland down around. What we're going to do is we're going to come down to this like cement uh, floor location right here. We're going to find the bones are going to be right here by this tree. Toland is usually on this platform as well, but right here by the tree where I'm aiming my bow is where you will find the bones lore location. I've already picked it up for this week. We're going to continue to follow Toland all the way down, um, and this is the full long version with all the eggs and the lore and things like that. You can see the second egg is down over there to the right slightly, but we're going to follow Toland over to this round donut platform. Uh, it's going to be on top of that statue and we'll get that second egg taken care of really easily We're gonna try and go next is that sphere that Toland is on top of right here If you're worried you're gonna fall off just kind of aim back behind where that sphere is and hop behind it The next jump you have to kind of be a little bit careful because you basically have to slide down this platform right here And it's very easy to fall off. Just take your time. No need to rush and you'll be fine we're going to continue to go through here, and this is the platforming puzzle that many people struggle with, mostly because right here is where platforms start to rotate. You can see here that this platform I'm jumping on right now is rotating, so you have to kind of use your best judgment on when you need to jump so that you don't die and how to basically make sure you sprint. You need to make sure you get enough sprinting distance because otherwise you will fall off and die. You basically just continue following Toland around here. Again, some of the platforms are going to start rotating. I think it's two, every two, uh, not every two platforms, there's two platforms and then one doesn't rotate. So it's like two rotating, one non-rotating. So those were our two rotating. Down here where I'm going next, this is a non-rotating platform, I believe. Yep. 
And so we're basically just gonna hang here for a second. We're gonna wait and we're gonna head over to that donut platform. You need to get a very large running jump to get over to this one. Try and hang over to the far right side up at the top so you don't fall off and die. The third egg is at the very top of the gazebo where you're heading down there. Go ahead and knock that out. And that is going to be the three eggs for this ascendant challenge. Very easy to do. Hop on down here to the gazebo and all you need to do is kill two wizards that are going to spawn here in just a little bit. There are also going to be a bunch of blights that you're going to want to take out in case if you want to move around, but it's not necessarily uh, to kill the blights. You just need to kill the two wizards. So here I'm using my hammerhead um, and my inaugural address. I'm going to go ahead and knock out a blight really quickly. Again, not required. I'm doing this. This is kind of the slow version of this. Uh, I'll show you some speed versions here, like I said at the end, for some bonus fun content. Right here, I'll blade barrage these guys. If you've got Slova Bomb, if you are a warlock, that's going to knock them out very easily. Um, any kind of burst super is going to be able to knock them out really quickly. So, nothing too crazy. Kill the two wizards, pick up the chest, and you are all done with this Ascended Challenge. You do need to make sure that you pick up the chest. If you don't pick up the chest, you will not get the bounty completed here. So, as soon as that's done, there will be a portal. Um, but you'll hop on through there and you will be all done with the Ascended Challenge as long as you picked up the chest. The bounty will then proc and you'll be good to go. Okay, so I wanted to show some bonus content footage for those of you who are wanting to do a speed trial run. So I'm going to hop in here with my Hunter again, but you'll notice that I'm using an Arc Strider now instead of Blade Barrage. I found a little trick uh, on both my Titan and my uh, Hunter. Actually, it was my Titan first, but I think the Hunter is actually really interesting. If you don't like jumping on those platforms, at the very end, there's actually a way you can use your Arc Strider strong uh, attack to actually skip most of the jumping. You're basically going to jump as quickly as possible down here onto these platforms. Um, it doesn't matter which tree of the Arc Strider you use. You just need to make sure that you use the strong attack, not the weak attack. For me, the strong attack on my Xbox is going to be the right hand trigger or... Um, on PlayStation, it's going to be R2. Right here, when I get to this area where the bones location would be, instead of following Tolan down that way, I'm going to go by the tree, I'm going to jump off the edge, and I'm going to basically hold off until the very, very last second, and I'm going to basically just hop down here. As soon as my super looks like it's going to run out, I'm going to use my super, uh, ma or my smash, attack, which is my right trigger, and I'm going to actually land right on top of the gazebo. It makes it very fun to do, very easy. Now, this is kind of the speed way of doing it. You'll also notice I have my tractor cannon on right now. The wizards are going to come around the corner as soon as they spawn up, and we're going to just basically tractor cannon them to death. Very simple. Uh, it's going to say the corruption grows over on your screen. As soon as you see that, that's when you know that uh, the wizards are going to actually start spawning. Here, I'm going to just use a quick grenade, as well as just get a reload on my tractor cannon. Knock those two out, and you are all done. So that's a really fun way of doing it if you want to do it on your hunter. Um, I haven't necessarily found a way to do that on my warlock. If I'm going to warlock it, I would bet Phoenix Dive would probably be your best bet, but I just have to figure out how to line that up. And this is the Titan speed run. This is the one I actually did a little bit earlier uh, in the uh, in basically the winter and December. You need to have Ballistic Slam and Code of the Missile on, and what you're going to do is you're going to use your uh, super or your melee attack to basically skip the entire jumping puzzle. We'll come over here, and we're going to land on the circular platform where Tolan first shows you uh, kind of like his path, and instead of going off to the right, we're going to go ahead and check down below, kind of get our bearings, look down below. You can see my tractor cannon circles aimed right on it. We're going to get a good running jump to get some distance. We're going to aim straight at it to make sure that we don't go off to the right or the left. We're going to make sure we're centered up very, very square. As soon as I'm lined up, I actually aim a little bit below where the gazebo will be. I'm kind of aiming actually down below it because it's very easy to overshoot it with the Titan. I'm just using my normal smash. I'm actually just using my like uh, my melee smash um, instead of my super smash right here. And then, boom, you're right on top of the gazebo. Very easy to do. Um, I'm not sure who figured out this strategy at first, but I just thought it would be kind of a fun video. I'm sure that someone on Reddit figured it out like in the first week that this challenge actually existed, uh, so I can't really give credit to anyone on this. I just know that other people have talked about it and done it before. As soon as the two wizards pop in, I'm going to go ahead and tractor cannon them again, and when I get kind of bored, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my super to knock them out and to finish it up. So just kind of a fun way to end it. Uh, not very difficult. 
and life will be good. So just, yep, having this wizard kind of hide around the pillar was a little bit annoying. And uh, not very difficult to do, though. So I wanted to show you those and share those with you in case if you want to get the time trial done. Uh, kind of a fun thing to do if you are interested in checking that out. So that is the Ascendant Challenge for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I don't know if you know this or not, but I do stream on twitch.tv slash manodestra777 whenever I can. Uh, if you want to check me out over there or if you did like something in this video, a positive rating is greatly appreciated. Um, hit that subscribe button for more Destiny 2 content. I'm going to be putting out some other videos here a little bit later. But until then, Guardians, good hunting, and I'll see you next time in the universe of Destiny.